so this is Billersley, I think you pronounce it, Manor Hotel. We've come here for my birthday. Um, well, it's in Warwickshire, and apparently Shakespeare and Anne Hathaway got married here. So we're going to go inside and have a little look. There's a lovely little garden through there. There's the man himself. Oh, sorry. It's all right. Hiya. Yes. Okay, so we've just come into the room. Um, it's gorgeous. Lovely view of the uh, fountain. Gonna have a look in a there. sec. A big TV, tea and coffee, and espresso maker. Nice settee area. And these lovely big chairs. But most importantly, a bottle of bubbly and a nice card from the hotel because it's my birthday. It's your birthday. On, and anniversary apparently. So let's have a little look outside. Oh, a really big tree but anyway. That's lovely. Very nice. It's a nice hotel isn't it? Yeah, oh, loads of cupboard space over here. <coughs> a safe, there's a fan down there, shoe horns and a shoe brush. Hair dryer, iron. Iron and board. Stu's getting the coffee going. Oh yes. Thanks. Really nice bathroom actually. I like these towels. Ta tiles, not towels. And then the, I don't know what brand that is. I think. Mm -hmm. Bath mat. Um, Bath shower combo. Main full head. It's very nice. So we're on our way to the pool. I've no idea where we're going. You can just tell it's an old manor house because there's little fireplaces if you were. Reception. I'm just going to turn you off because I am walking down there with one hand. I should say it's this way but I don't know where they've gone. Nevertheless, well, sometimes We've just come from swimming and we've just stopped in this room. I don't know what it's called, the As You Like It Lounge. Um, so that's why Scarlett's hair is wet. But look at the ceiling in here. It's lovely. Obviously it's, oh look, the door's opened as if the books are coming out of there. But yes, it's lovely. Um, there's chess, there's board games. There's catchphrases there, and then there's the view right there. These windows, though, are absolutely stunning pure stone, really lovely. <laughs> Beautiful fireplace. She didn't touch it, apparently. That means she did touch it. So we're about to go downstairs. This is quite tight spirals, Dad, isn't it? I'm going to go for dinner. 
<laughs> once, we, once we find out where it is, that is. I think that's the room that Gina recorded earlier with the books and all and the games. <sighs> Very oldie worldy, celebrating Gina's birthday. So I'm just going to come into the uh, into the restaurant now. I've seen a lot. Three. Are you all good? Yeah, what's over the back? Scully. I'll see you. Okay. Um, would you want to go like this? Yes, yes. It's fine. Are you having me to do it? Yeah, no, go, go, go. I'm sweet. I'm sweet. I'm sweet. I'm sweet. I'm Lovely, yeah, it's great. It just arrived. It's been swimming okay, Perfect, you. lovely, thank you. I'm going to talk quietly. We'll go. Um, so, the soup of the day is roasted tomato. Do you have any allergies or anything we no, need to be aware of? No, we haven't. No. Um, from that we've got a steak special on this evening okay thank and you everything else is as per the menu can i get you some water yes and water would be lovely just tap water please yeah thank you hopefully you can see all that it's very quiet in here so i'm not going to talk too loud but that's the menu <laughs> Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Modern art things going on there. They've got painting over the top of it. Gotta celebrate a birthday in style, haven't you? Has to be done. As, as Gina drinks water. <laughs> it's a massive big bath. Let's spin it around so you can see. Um, and it's just surrounded in wood. It's like cute. Maybe it was the old library or. I mean, that is a big fireplace. Or the old hallway, but it's absolutely. And look at that door there, Scarlet. It's like a door into the. If, I, if when Stu finishes that spin, if he gives it to me, I'll show this old door. It's like a secret door. That's a door. <laughs> it's gonna it's gorgeous. So receptions through there, this is the bar. And again we've got this amazing fireplace. I'm quite close to it so you can't really It's just amazing. It's like a gallery just sort of landed up there. And the ceiling's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, thanks. It's lovely. Really lovely. Right, so uh, come down for breakfast. And as usual, we sort of lay out self service. And you've got um, all the teas. Usual bread, some selections of jams, and there's the toasters. What are you going to have, Scarlett? Can I cook breakfast? I think that's sausages, isn't it? Oh, yeah, sausage and bacon. Lovely. And what's inside there? Mushrooms and tomatoes. Mushrooms and tomatoes, lovely. It's not units. I lost this one. Is that going to be? Beans and oh, yeah, it's beans and potatoes. Yeah. I like the units. It keeps it all right, and that's going to be your. I just saw inside there. Scrambled eggs. What are you going to have? Oh, yeah, and black pudding. And then there's a fried egg. Shall we go and get your juice and all? And then outside here's the continental. And. I think Gina wanted cranberry, but there isn't. Oh, is that cranberry? Yeah, can you give me some cranberry? Nice selection of fruit and cereals. It's like a lot of muesli, Weedabix, corn plates. And a selection of ham. 
Right, I'm gonna get stuck in. Ooh, this could be spit. This could be a bit spooky at night, doesn't it? Yeah, it's very dark though. Look at that. It's a nice, nice little area just to sit down and relax, isn't it? And there we go. So this is just the upstairs from the bar. We're now we're going to walk through. I don't know what's in here, but we'll have a look. Shakespeare's in the wall. That's original panels in there. Look at that, original panels. It's so gorgeous, so old. It's amazing. Look at these old novels and stuff. Here we go. Um, no. Let's go. Right, let's walk around. It's, it's, it's very dark, so sorry if you can't see stuff. And then you get these massive, great big fireplaces. There's loads of fireplaces, isn't there? It's just how they heat. Can you imagine keeping those at light? And another little fireplace. <laughs> just go out showing some artwork. into our room. Okay, so we've just checked out of uh, Billersley Hall, I think we think is how it's pronounced. And this is saying it's a Billersley Trussell, a deserted medieval, medieval village. Now the Trussells owned the hall and there's a room in their call, I think it's William Trussell. Um, and aside from the Shakespeare room, it's one of the biggest suites. But it's like an old deserted medieval village over there, or was. Um, and from what I read, it was deserted um, during the plague when all of the villagers died and all that was left was the manor house. And at the time, I think the manor house was just a wooden house. It's not that big brick house you see at the minute. But it's so peaceful. Look at the little ducks um, and the, all the snowdrops over there. It's gorgeous. But we had such a good night's sleep, didn't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very Sorry. quiet. Um, nice breakfast. wasn't amazing breakfast, but it was nice. So we're walking over to what is reputed to be the church that Shakespeare and Anne Hathaway got married in. That one there. And also, um, they think they got married there, but I think every church in Warwickshire holds that claim. Yeah. Uh, but this one's more likely because it's right near where Anne Hathaway lived. And it's right near where his mother lived, which we're going to go and visit today. We'll walk down this little pathway here. Um, and also his, his granddaughter definitely got married in this church. So, um, sounds to reason. Look at the snowdrops. Oh, beautiful. They are lovely. So it's raining typically <laughs> when we try and do anything. Um, but being British, we ply on ahead. We don't let that stop us. God, it's got my umbrella. She's making sure it's over her. She's <laughs> oh, look at the lovely Rotan gate. It's through here. No public right of way. That's private. So we will go this way. And those old metal things are like they hold the building together. And uh, that's the hotel back up that way. I think it looks like there's more snowdrops in this church stepping over the puddles welcome to all saints church grade one listed church the shakespeare's connection so hopefully you can pause on that and read that very nice oh look at those I mean, it's Saturday. No, yes, it's Saturday. Um, let's have just a look. Do you think we're allowed in? 
Lucy, the daughter of John Bolton, of Glen St. Ireland, Esquire, and the beloved wife of Edward Whaley of Bellisley in Warwickshire, who departed. This woman was full of good works and all deeds which she did. would have been got married in this beautiful little tiny church. Stunning. This is a harrowing stone look at it. That has been all carved out by hand. So that's it. So we are walking down to Anne Hathaway's cottage and what we didn't realise is it's shut in winter. Yeah. So it's not actually open. Sure. But we're gonna see it from the road. We're here, so we might as well see it from the road. Um we were wondering why it was so quiet and why there was nobody about, weren't we? Oh, yeah. that'll be why. <laughs> Everybody else had the sense to Google it before the key. All thatched roof. Pretty Elizabethan looking, isn't it? Look at the tiny little windows because they were taxed on those, weren't they? So the bigger the window, the more tax they paid. But it's some size of a house. As I say, they must have had some money. But I think that was her house before they got married. And then here we are at the front or the back. Quite sure. It's just, it is lovely. I think under that tree is the toilet thing that they would need to go to the toilet. Yeah, in. quite possibly. Oh, yeah, a little cottage garden. That's lovely. Hopefully, you can see it. So we've just come across the road from the cottage and there it is. It's just like a little little bridge over a little river. It leads to Stratford Town Centre, which is a mile walk. But it's just very quiet again okay, and peaceful. So you, you're in like in the middle of a housing estate, so obviously there were other houses around at the time, um, which which remain. There's a lovely tiny little waterfall up there. Uh, but it's so quiet. <sighs> Just think, Shakespeare would have walked here because he probably would have walked into Stratford Town Centre. Um, it's amazing there's people living there. That's what I'm saying, yeah. yeah I'm so glad they kept it. It's 
so easy to knock these things down, but they didn't. So this is where we are, Mary Arden's Tudor Farm. Um, find your way around. So it looks quite big. So I think she was left this farm by her father. And obviously Shakespeare would have been born here, but there's still ducks and stuff over there. Ooh. Um, this is like a visitor centre by the look of it. And it's closed today, obviously, because it's winter. So yeah, again, a really Tudor style house. Higgledy, piggledy, crazy. Bigger windows than this one. Look at the state of it! It doesn't even look real, does it? You're like, nobody made a house like this. It's just up and down. Slate roof. Not thatched. Don't know if that's a new addition or if it would have been at the time. Because we can't get no history because we can't get in. There's probably stuff to see out the back as well. It's just like a farm. You just hear farm noises everywhere. Sheep over there. And yeah, it's raining. But yeah, it's my car. Oh yeah, it is your car. Don't think so somehow. So that's our little joint jaunt over. Can you see the pub in the background? Um to well Warwickshire and to see the board but it's been, it's been nice you know at least we got to see it didn't get inside it and I'll probably just look up on Google about the history of the place etc because it's still fun to know well for me anyway not for Scarlett so we'll head back home we're about an hour away um, and get back to normal life birthday's done for another year so yeah, see you later, bye. Okay, so because we got let down by the houses, we came past something called Stratford Armouries and Stu loves anything military. Of course. Um, so we're gonna jump in and see what that's about. So you see you in a bit. Guns. Oh, okay, reception and... <laughs> <laughs> and because it's a museum, it's free. Yeah, we get something on the way out, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so Winston Leonard Spencer was born at Blenheim Palace. So this obviously must be, um, well, there's, there's Churchill there. Yeah, this uh, is, that's so I wonder, I wonder what all the Churchill stuff's about. Oh, it's just literally a museum and this one's about Churchill. <laughs> that's sketchy. <you. laughs> oh my God, I see what you mean. Yeah, it's supposed to be Churchill. God, I thought it was a real person. So cool. Stu, as I say, loves war stuff. So he's right in his element. <laughs> I think you have to do these things. It's a rainy day, so it's nice to get inside as well. It's a shame we didn't see the houses. But Scott said you want to come back, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, we'll come back. Maybe. What is that noise? Water. Hello, Churchill. I thought you were dead, mate. What happened to your baby finger? Look at this. Trenches. So, we just thought we'd do a little round-up of what we thought of the hotel and what we thought of dinner. Um, because it was very quiet in the restaurants. So we didn't want to, want to video too yeah, much and, and ruin it for people. Um, so. 
this is February 23 and room we got a special offer a winter rate of £140 for that room that big beautiful room uh, which was a, a junior suite I believe um, but we could have gone dinner bed and breakfast for 340 for the same room and I just thought we would never spend £200 on a meal so it would be better for you but we didn't bargain on how pricey the restaurant was um, the food, the food was was nice. It wasn't amazing. It was a good piece of steak, admittedly, but thirty-five pounds. It was thirty-five pounds for that steak and chips. I'll put the picture in here so you can see it. But um, yeah, <coughs> thirty-five pound. Yeah. It was take on my starter. Jeez, I had salmon, didn't I? So it Stuart started. He, he ordered salmon. Um, you can see the price on the menu. Again, I'll link it here. Um, and it is a, it was a sliver like this big, tiny sliver. Um, the the meal in total was they had service charge. The service was okay. Um, they didn't bring Scarlet starter, and when we chased it up. Um, it's they hadn't they hadn't put it in so we just said bring it with her main because it was garlic bread which if you're going to add service charge to a meal I don't think that it should be forgetting the starter other than that they were really nice yeah they come over very pleasant we did wait 45 45 to 50 minutes for our meal yeah you were getting fed up <laughs> well all the starters should have come out to give us that wasn't um, but luckily Scarlett wanted her garlic bread with her pasta so yeah um, it was enjoyable, but yeah. It, just feel it. Yeah, just feel it was a little bit overpriced. Um, nice cocktails, nice bar, nice ambience, everything. Uh, we sat in that as you like it room, and we played um, some family games, which they leave there, yeah. which was again really enjoyable. Me and Scarlett had a ghost dog, didn't we, Scarlett? We had a dog whimpering. Uh, <laughs> turned out it was some mechanical thing somewhere. No lift, so you had to cast you had to carry that very case upstairs. Steep, yeah, very steep stairs. Um, um, but uh, but swim pool was great. Did the job. Had a steam room and a sauna. Yeah. Um, could have had treatments there if you wanted. Of a tour that we did round the the older part of the hotel. Just I just love things like that though. Just, the building is yeah. amazing. It's fantastic. So it dates back to the 1300s um, and then it's obviously been added on to over the years to end up with what you've got now but it's like it's ancient. But the other thing I wanted to talk about was, was the bed. So the bedroom quiet as anything wasn't it? Yep. Very peaceful, very quiet. Um, bed I found a bit hard. Yeah it was, it was a bit hard. Yeah. So I woke up with sore, sore shoulders and you've woke up with a sore shoulder this yeah, morning yeah. so shoulder. bed's a bit hard. Pillars are also a bit hard. Scott your bed was comfy though wasn't it? Yep. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> well they got a coffee machine in there and all and it was some, that coffee was lovely admittedly. Um, and we had what was it champagne prosecco? Oh, ready. they gave me a free bottle of uh, prosecco because it was my birthday, yeah, which so. was a very nice touch. So yeah, uh, it, it was I definitely recommend that hotel. Fantastic location, beautiful hotel. Yes, okay, we can, we can moan about some things. Of course you can. It was a bit slow on the on the uh, on the service and the food, but at the end of the day, it was, it was still lovely food. I think you go to places like that, it is going to be expensive. Thank you guys for my lovely birthday. Then we'll uh, see where we're going to go next time. Yeah. So don't forget to like and subscribe because it just always helps. And uh, we're just building our little channel. So please do follow along. So bye.